Hello once again everyone, Original Blood Ice back again, and now it's time to get back on track with the videos that I was talking about the other day. So, first of all we're going to talk some Splatoon stuff now. This story, obviously like two days ago we heard about this at first and I'm just getting around to it now, but oh well. Um, so the major Splatoon update, we already knew it was coming, but we have a release date for it, which is August 6th, which is next Wednesday or Thursday, I forget. Uh, and there's quite a bit of content coming to it. Uh, we got two new matchmaking modes, which are both, you know, centered around playing with friends and being able to partner up with friends. Um, new weapon types, there's two of those. There's like a bucket and a Gatling gun. Pretty cool. Uh, an increase to the game's level cap, which is going from 20 to 50. That's going to take probably the rest of the fucking year to get to that uh, max rank of level 50. Um, and more than 40 pieces of new gear. Now, they don't clarify if they, by gear if they mean, you know, clothes or weapons or both. So that'll be interesting because, if you think about it, when you went up to level 20, every time you ranked up once, there was a new weapon you could buy. So... Let's say there's 40 new weapons. Uh, that would mean going, you know, the new 30 or the new, yeah, 30 levels that remain to get to level 50. That would be 30 of the 40 weapons, and I guess the other 10 would just be getting gotten in some other way, maybe for free or whatever. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Um, players will now be able to create a winning strategy and fight to the best and most battle-tested squid squad around. So whatever. Um, so the new update introduces squad battle and private battle matchmaking options. In squad battle, players can participate in ranked battle rule sets with friends, so you can set it up however you want, uh, rather than being teamed up with other players through the random selection, um, or through a random selection. After a player creates a squad, friends can be recruited to form a team of two to four inklings. Friends will always play together on the same team and battle against other squads at random. So that sounds lovely to me. Um, in private battle, friends can splat it up in private, customizable matches. Two to eight friends can battle together by selecting their favorite map, mode, and weapons. The number of participants ranges from one versus one to four versus four, but teams don't have to be even. You could have a one versus four if you wanted to, one versus three, or one versus two, so forth, so on. So, interesting, interesting. With this robust new update also comes an increased level cap, which I already talked about. Uh, also, in ra uh, ranked battle, it goes from S to S+. Plus. Not gonna fucking lie, I will never in my life achieve S rank, not, let alone S plus rank, seeing as I just don't play ranked battle that much. I just don't like it. Um, hell, I'm still like a fucking C, like an average C, or my C minus. I don't even fucking remember, like I don't even know if I ranked up once. Uh, but anyway... While Inklings around the world are enjoying and mastering the current arsenal of weapons in Splatoon, two new weapon types will be available with the update adding a new layer of strategy, which I talked about, the bucket, like Slosher Weapon, hurls ink straight ahead of an, at an impressive range, uh, and you can adjust the angle and you can actually throw ink over the wall and hit people on the other side. With the Gatling style Splatling, players can charge, at all, or charge all powerful ink, a maximum charge, unleashes the full potential of this particular weapon type. In addition to the new weapons, more than 40 pieces of gear, oh here we go, including everything from a leather jacket to a sushi chef costume, that's a bit uh, weird, that'd be like wearing a human skin on your thing, uh, on your body. Um, but anyway, are coming to the various game shops in Splatoon, and I think... That pretty much is going to cover it. Let me see here. Despite its size, I guess, and scope, this massive uh, August update is not the end of the Splattacular free content coming to Splatoon. Following the update, more content will continually roll out through the rest of the summer and into the autumn or fall. Um, so at least until November, anyway, we'll be getting more Splatoon content, uh, including the Rainmaker ranked battle mode, which I don't know what the fuck that is. Um, Additional maps and new uh, weapons, more details on these additions, will be revealed in the future. Although, I mean, we'll get most of this next fucking week anyway. So, not much more else I need to say. That'll do it for this, uh, what do you call it, Splatoon, I don't know if it's a discussion, but Splatoon news video anyway. So, as always, we'll have to say, see you in the next video, come back for more, we'll see you then.